Tema culture, as an innovative farming technique, used to create a sustainable means of livelihood by resorting to farming practices that restores degraded land or make use of bare land in the growing of crops and rearing of animals. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. The Ghana Permaculture Institute trains farmers and individuals on permaculture practices, which aims to create a stable productive system that provides for human needs and protects the environment for future generations. I'm Ilham, one of Ghana Permaculture Institute staff. This is our before and after. The main road we passed and came here, that is the Tamil Road. When they were doing the construction, the contractor bought this land where they were winnowing the gravel for the road. After they finished winnowing the whole land, the place is like this. It's there. Some people will say, oh, this land, we can use it for anything. But as permaculturists, we rather solve, try to solve problems. And now the whole place is like this. This is bamboo store building. They use all bamboo to do the structure. You know, some of the areas, if you go there, you can see that there are a lot of this bamboo. You are warmly welcome to Ghana Permaculture Institute. Dr. Poya Boa started the institute in the year 2004 with the support of Greg Nibs, an Australian permaculture teacher. The aim was to harmoniously integrate the land with the people, not only for today, but also for the future. Since its establishment, the institute has trained a lot of farmers, other institutes, as well as individuals on best farming practices, new and improved farming methods, and processing of farm produce into finished products, among others. Dr. Paul, the founder and the CEO of the Institute, also worked as a teacher and a trainer until his sudden demise on the 14th of September. 2021 after a short illness. My name is Ankuma Yebua Cosmos, a staff of Ghana Permaculture Institute. Director, as we all say, but when you come to GPI staff, we don't call him director, but rather father, because he is dear to our heart, he is dear to us as a father. During his final funeral rites, a lot of people were present to bid him farewell. Several others sang his praises in recognition of his contribution to permaculture in Ghana and considered his death as a huge loss. I am Agnes Amia, the wife of late Dr. Paul Yepua. Dr. Paul was good to me and he was capable in all things that he, had, he decided to do. And he had a good vision and also he is innovative, humble. In fact, I can't stop 
thinking of him. He was a selfless person who had many people at heart. My name is David Ankuma. You know, the little that I know about Dr. Paul is his passion for the work of God. He had a lot of, you know, love for the work of God. Anytime he was called upon to do something at the church, he would do it. He never said that, oh, I'm, I'm tired, I can't do this, I can't do it. No, he would take the lead and he would do it. Paul's vision was to make Ghana Permaculture Institute a first-class permaculture consultancy institution in Ghana and Africa at large, and to be able to offer permaculture methodologies to clients in order to maintain a natural ecosystem. Paul's legacy leaves on, and to support his vision, use any of the means on the screen. <laughs>